the order we think it is because, you know, performers change last minute and whatever. So I think it'll be a lot of spontaneous kind of making up for gaps, but it should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Well, Marilyn was um, the first superstar of porn back in the day, back in the day when your mother was very young in 1972. Porn had just become legal to show in movie theaters. Yeah. Like that very year it was the year of on the Supreme Court decision that said porn was okay. And so people were going to the movie theater, couples, and this movie was big. It was bigger than big. It was shot in color. It was amazing. It had music. It had special effects. It had dwarf orgies. And Marilyn Chambers was the star. It was her first movie ever. And she just got bigger than big because it was a time in the American culture where porn was called porno chic. It was just fashionable for swinging couples to go to a porno movie. And there were two movies to go see. There was Behind the Green Door and Deep Throat. I'm sure you've heard of Deep Throat. So there are two in the whole in the whole country. And Marilyn was 20 years old. She was young like you. She was pretty, she was slim, and she had been the Ivory Snow box cover girl. Okay. Back when they used photographs of women. Now, because of Marilyn, Ivory Snow, you look, it's always a painting. It's never an actual human. And she was bigger than big before there was big, before Ginger, before Amber, before Tracy Lord, before uh, uh, Jessica Drake, before Jenna, there was Marilyn Chambers. And wow. Yeah. Before every, she was a bigger star than anybody ever was. But the culture wasn't supporting it. So she, there were, she was in magazines, she wasn't on TV. So you had to be into porn to know who she was. But she did very well for herself. And it's very sad that she died. We don't know what from. Um, and it, I wasn't her friend. But I was like, oh, no, because Marilyn was the first person my husband ever tied up in a movie. Back, wow. back in the, way back in the day, he could also show tying up with sex mm -hmm. before it went away for a while. So he was called on to tie up Marilyn Chambers. And he was trying, OK, well, I, don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. Oh, I don't care if it's uncomfortable, honey. Just make me look good. And so he did. <laughs> and that was his first time in porn. Um, so Marilyn is important in the history of the business because she was the first super duper star. You know, if, if you knew Marilyn, you, if you knew Marilyn Monroe, you knew Marilyn Chambers. It was that that big. Roy, tell me, yeah. what is it that you love most about being a director on feature films? Oh, well, for me, it's about the acting. It always was about the acting and the talent and, and doing life. I must say, your question just had led me into, I just finished production on a mainstream independent movie. The last two hours in the Phil Spector mansion, uh, the night of the murders, from the time the two enters till the gun goes off. Two hours of intense madness, and you got the scoop. My first release just came out last month, and my second will come out in June, and I'll be doing one a month from then on. Um, yeah, it was crazy. Uh, it was about two weeks ago, and it was for my interactive, interactive sex with Tori Black by Zero Tolerance. So tell me, who did you play um, in the Cosby parody? And for those of you who watched the actual Cosby show, I was Cockroach, which is Theo's best friend. And who's Theo? Theo was the son on the Cosby show, the only boy out of all the girls. They couldn't have me play the, the son because I couldn't fuck all the sisters. And then also, let me tell you something about this one. She's also starring in our next movie after the Cos not the Cosby's Triple X. She's not married with children Triple X, and she's Kelly Bundy. What is this? This is an interview. Can you tell us what you do, Pete? I'm sure a lot of people are wondering. I do all kinds of things, like write words about porno people. Yeah? Who's your favorite porn star to write about? Cagney Lynn Carter. <laughs> We are about to do our first Girl Girl review for Adult Blue Review. Uh, me and Gianna Lynn did one in Vegas, and now me and Eva are going to do one. And she actually just performed on, now I'm doing your echo. <laughs> uh, she just did a review of Sun Goddess Malibu for our site, adultbluereview.com, where she sits there and reviews Blu-rays while masturbating. I have you and us coming out. It's a movie with Katsuni and me. Um, I'm also nominated for Favorite Female Rookie for the Fame Awards. Cagney Lynn Carter back here at the XRCO Awards with Lisa Ann, who just got done shooting an Eminem video. Can you tell us about that, Lisa? It was so awesome. It was so much fun. It's so exciting to see it on all the time. Hear the song. It's great. 
So tell us about Butt Woman. Was that an exciting movie for you? It really was. It was something that I kind of got to do. It was a little bit of my own. I got to do pick the people that I wanted to work with. Um, I did really cool things, and you know, in the movie, each scene was really different. Um, it was something that was personal, and I really enjoyed doing it. And I think that it came across in the movie. Gifted just came out recently. Uh, my next one coming up is Girl Meets Boy, and I have a really big one coming out. It should be coming out soon, hopefully. It's called Educating Alley. It's one of my the biggest movie that I've done so far, so I'm really excited about it. Really cool. So, is that your favorite movie? Yes, because I do like 11 sex scenes and all the dialogue. So I'm really proud of it. How often do you update your site? Well, what's awesome is my site. I'm partners with Reality Kings. We're under contract together, right? Uh -huh. And um, basically, they came to me and said, "Hey, you're a big dork." Go do it with all your girlfriends and fuck them all and bring some guys, fuck them too, and let's have a good time. I just started New Lion King of Gucci. That's why I'm wearing this fine plastic crown. Can you tell me real quick a little bit about The Wicked? Were you the star of that movie? I was. It was directed by Michael Raven, and um, it was a vampire, really, really sexy, crazy movie. Like, super cool. Really cool. There are a lot of people in it. The other 